Senator Rubio had offered an amendment to the Inflation Act, which is what I will be calling the Democrats watered it down, build back better, the Inflation Act, because it, make no mistake, it will increase inflation, which is exactly what the data shows that it will do. It will not decrease it. Inflation will go up this year and next year until 2024. Thank you, Democrats. Rubio, on the floor of the Senate during the, the overnight voterama, offered an amendment that would address or that intended to address these Soros-funded uh, radical prosecutors that don't actually want to prosecute crime, that actually decline to prosecute entire categories of even a violent crime. The Democrats obviously did not like Rubio's amendment, got voted down, and this is what Rubio, this is how Rubio responded. I don't think I need to tell anybody here. Our work is at its best when it's focused on what people care about. Let me tell you what people care about. They don't, they don't care as much about buying solar panels and electric cars as they do not having to live in a community where violent crime is rampant and you've got some crazy prosecutor that refuses to put people in jail, that refuses to prosecute entire categories of crime. People are worried about that and rightfully so and it's happening. We have these beautiful cities that were once world-class cities that have become unlivable all over this country because we had these lunatic prosecutors that have decided they're not gonna, the entire categories of crime they will not prosecute. That's the kind of stuff we should be working on here tonight, all night long. You're gonna spend all night working on something, work on that. Don't waste time on stuff that doesn't matter to real people working every single day who are not gonna be driving an electric car next year or the year after that, but they might get mugged, but they might be a victim of a violent crime. And so what this does is it sends to the Judiciary Committee and asks them, in three days, come back with some ideas about how you can spend just a little bit of these billions of dollars that we're throwing away on this garbage, how we can spend a little bit of that money to put criminals in jail so Americans no longer have to live in fear in their communities. Okay, so first of all, the reason that the left hated that is because it was beautifully said. It was very eloquent, it was very accurate, and it was very reflective of how the American people actually on both sides of the aisle feel about the violent crime that's happening in cities all across the country. People know that it's the Democrats' fault. They know that it's not something that's just arbitrarily happening. It's happening because of what the Democrats have done to cities. And Rubio did a really important thing. He forced the Democrats to go on record on this issue. He forced the Democrats to say, we actually don't want to improve the safety of cities. And this is a really important political tactic that I think Republicans should take every advantage of when they are in the majority in the House and the Senate and the presidency. They should get Democrats on the record, force votes on every single issue so that voters can see exactly what Democrats are doing. What happens so often right now is Schumer and Pelosi refuse to bring things to the floor in order to help representatives and senators avoid going on record so that there can be plausible deniability. Oh, I didn't know that that was a thing. Oh, I never had the opportunity to do this. Or, oh, let's just brush it under the rug and focus on something else. No. What Rubio did was really important because it forced the Democrats on record. They do not want to stop the violent crime in our cities because they had the opportunity to do so with this amendment and they voted no.